Okay, guys. I just received this wallet. Okay, and here um, is the receipt to that bag. I forgot to insert it in my other uh, video, but this is the receipt. Just so you guys know, I did really get it for $52. <laughs> but anyways, I'm back. And this is a wallet I have wanted for a while because I've been using my Ralph Lauren and my card holder, so I've been having two. I wanted to consolidate the two combine them into one and I had uh, picked up a ox blood one but I wasn't really a big fan of the pebbled leather I'm sorry I'm a big fan of pebble leather I wasn't a fan of the patent ox blood let me correct myself okay anyway so I picked this one up okay so let's go over the features I've got myself here a stack of uh, what you call it, um, gift cards that my kids love to pick up every time at the store. Anyways, so let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see, pebbled leather, and it's got with the gold hardware. Coach New York. Da zice de la coach, te find your coach. Yes, it's nice coach. <laughs> Okay, sorry, I'm still a little high off of the last film I made, guys. So I'm going to try to get this through this video with seriousness. I'm just a little excited. Okay, and it's snap closure. And I swear I put this camera right under my feet. Here, all right, let's straddle this. Okay, so snap closure. And it's got a big old pocket right here. Let's see, does a credit card fit in here? issued well here let's try let's start off with four let's do four credit cards in the front slot let's see now the feet okay and this is pebble leather so it will stretch my husband had a pebble leather see it but I don't, I don't like that bulky okay let's let's just do two cards for now let's do this the two cards because i don't want to overdo it oh that's actually more than four cards okay let's two now so, okay, I like that better. All right, and then it's got packaging here. Some more packaging. No, that's the care instructions. Oh, and this, this is the tag. And this is the item number and whatnot. All right, and it has the keychain thing. And of course, a much bigger pocket back here. And I love this classic envelope style. This style right here will never, ever go out of style because of the envelope style. Anything. I've seen bags, totes, nah, more like clutches and, and uh, evening bags. They usually have this um, envelope style, but they're so classic. They'll always be classic because that's such a classic thing. People always have mail to send out and envelopes and you always get it. And so there's... Oops. Uh, sorry guys, the, the little item numbered in there. And let's see how many cards I can fit back there. I know, you could probably fit a bunch. Let's see. That's four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do eight. Eight cards. Let me see. Eight cards. Oh yeah, that fits comfortably. And I like this, um, and that's the, it's probably gold. Is it like gold? Light gold, yeah, it's light gold. I'm sorry. I like the zipper. How um, you see how flat it is? It's flat. So then you know when you're able to close it, it doesn't like bulge through. Isn't that neato, guys? And then of course the little keychain, little thingy. I guess to reinforce the little keychain thing, which is nice feature, guys. All right. Uh, sorry, I'm bumping the camera again. Okay, and let's open this zipper. <gasps> what? What? I thought I was having issues there for a second with the zipper, but nope, no issues. And then, of course, I'm going to take that out just so you can you guys can see this pocket right here. Of course, for cash and coins. And uh, the zipper works fine. I was just... I had a panic moment there for a second. I'm like, what? What? It's not the smoothest, but you know, it's new. So it's gonna get better. Okay, anyways. So yeah, pocket and change and cash. And I don't know if another credit card will fit in here. Let me see. Eh, no. 
I mean, yeah, if you go like this, you stick it in and like that, and you pull it out like that. So yes, you can fit cards galore. <gasps> I'm so excited, you guys. Okay, since there's five minutes, only five minutes so far. Okay, I'm going to go into my my uh, most important reason I wanted to do this video. Besides a cute coach wallet, my second reason is I wanted to share another piece of my heart. My favorite thing to do. Um, I wanted to tell you guys how I heard the voice of God one time out of my body. Not in my heart or in my spirit, but outside of my body to where I turned and I thought... I thought I was actually a person that had said that phrase next to me. But it was nobody was there. Okay, anyways, uh, I was going through a hard time. Like, oh, I want to say... Uh, almost like eight years ago. Anyways, I was getting harassed at work. And... Oh, look, you can fit more cards back here too, guys. Oh, sorry. Anyways, I was getting harassed at work. And... So anyways, this person was going to get, uh, was on trial to, you know, to have his, you know, his, his, uh, to be terminated. Anyways, so I was involved in the case and a few other females were involved in the case because he would, he would, he was a predator, you know, and being in management, you know, that's not okay to, to harass people. Anyways, so, uh... Oh, you can do that. Cards back there. Anyways, so I was at, I happened to be at Target. I was at Target, you know, while this was going on. They gave me the day off early in the morning. They said, hey, you go home and you just, you know, take the day off. We know this is stressing you out. You know, we, we don't want you working in that kind of stressful situation. So I, I was, I, you know, I went home. I picked up my son. I went to Target. And I was in Target and I got lost in Target like I always do. And I look at the, I looked, you know, at the clock and I realized, hey, I need to call my husband. He's almost, you know, let me see where he's at. He's almost going to come home. Let me see what's for dinner. So I go in my bag to get my phone and my phone is gone. And I start panicking, freaking out. My husband had just gotten that phone that week. So he got, um, he had gotten me that phone that week. So I panicked because I'm like, oh my gosh, my phone is gone. The one he literally just got me a few days before. Because I was a klutz about breaking my phones because I'm rough on my phones. And I was so heartbroken, you guys, that I was so upset. I was like, quickly, let me go pay for the stuff. Let me run up to the AT&T store, which was right in the same, uh, parking, uh, same shopping center. Anyway, so I run up to, you know, I get back in line at Target. And I'm panicking. I'm freaking out because I had already checked the front desk. It wasn't there. But I'm like, okay, I got to pay for this stuff. I literally had like two baskets almost full of stuff. So I was sitting in line. I was panicked. I was freaked out. I was like, this is the last thing I needed right now. I've been so stressed for years of harassment. This was like the last thing I needed. And I was just like, like to where you you get so frustrated that you're, you know, you're just, 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 just like numb with and beyond frustration and just devastated, just everything, you know. Ugh. So I'm standing in line and all of a sudden I hear, it's going to be okay. And it was just still the calmest tone of voice. So I turn really quick. I'm like, because I was surprised. I'm like, who's next to me that knows what, I, what's, what I'm going through? That knows I'm my head's a turmoil. It's a mess. Who is... Who is this person? Let me turn to see who this person is. And there was nobody there. And that's when I realized it was the Holy Spirit. It was the Lord calming me down. And I was like, it was so funny. I, tur I turned, I realized nobody was there. And I turned back and then I'm like, what do you mean it's going to be all right? Like I started talking to myself. You know, the people probably thought I was crazy. But, you know, I'm like, what do you mean it's going to be okay? I, I don't see how it's going to be okay. I'm like... You know, I was just panicking, frustrated. So then I run up to the AT&T store after I pay for my stuff. And then I'm, I got called my husband. I was like, honey, I'm so sorry. I lost your phone. I'm so sorry. I lost my phone. And and my husband's like, uh, your mom's pulling up. You know, he's like, oh, it's okay. Just come home. I'm like, and then and he's like, it was a, a quick conversation under 30 seconds. And he's like, your mom's pulling up. And I was like upset. I was like, that's the last person I wanted to see right now because I just, you know, Sometimes you, when you're going through stuff, you don't want to see anybody. So I'm like, what is my mom doing there? And it's so funny how I said it. I was like, unless she's bringing my phone, I don't want to see my mom right now. So I, I hung up, you know, at AT&T store and I ran home. And I pull up and I start, you know, I grab some groceries and my husband is, is already out the door. 
by the time I opened up the back and had a couple bags in my hand and I started walking up the stairs and he was like, he was holding my phone. I was like, oh my gosh. I literally dropped to my knees on the grass and started crying. I started crying so bad. He's like, what's wrong? It's okay. I was like, how, how, how? How? And he said that a little girl had found my phone in the bathroom when I had went and changed my little boy. Um, she had found the phone and she had insisted, you know, to her dad that she called the number on the, you know, which mom, obviously means mom. So she called my mom and my, I guess my mom happened to be in the area. And <laughs> it's just amazing how God works, you know, this little girl, you know, so so the little girl gave it to my mom and my mom was so sweet, gave her five bucks. I was so thankful that she did that. But oh my goodness, how God just like, and that's, that's going to stick in my mind forever. Like, can nobody tell me that I didn't hear God? No, sorry, but I heard God and he's amazing. He's been, he is the greatest joy in my life. The greatest besides my husband, my children, God has always been there since day one, since the day I was born. You know, I've been through some, some serious stuff, like some serious ever since I was little, but the Lord has kept me whole and sane, even though there's times I want to, you know, I just went off this planet. You know, my sister died almost, you know, it'll be a, it'll be two years this, just, just this July. And ever since she left, you know, it's been a constant battle to just want to stay grounded, you know, and continue, you know, doing his will. But I know I need to. And I know a pass in a blink of an eye. But you guys, that's my story of how I heard God. I love you guys. <sighs> y'all have a blessed day and a blessed week. Thank y'all for hanging out with me and putting up with all my stories.